Hey guys, I'm here to do a comparison video on uh, what is the SAR ST10, which is a clone of the HK USP. As you can see, look at the slides. Look at the control levers. Look at the shape of the beaver tail. Look at the trigger guard shape, the trigger shape. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a video here and show the differences. So if you watched my channel, you saw that I already did a review video on uh, compare, not a comparison, but um, some statistics on this weapon. This comes with, it's marked as a 15 round magazine. And as you saw in my shooting video, it, the magazine holds 18. This is in 9mm, whereas the USP is in 40 caliber. Uh, three dot sights. External extractor. Slide is going to be nearly identical to the USP. If we look at slide length, they're the same, but the slant right here is a little bit longer and if we look at the bevel on the back end you can see that the USP is a straight cut whereas they beveled the top of the ST10 so you can see it has that angle there where this actually angles backwards so it's opposite there um, this safety lever is steel because this is an alloy frame pistol, whereas this is polymer frame, and this lever is polymer. And this has the decocker. This does not. That does not. This is just a manual safety. So you would have to manually release that. Um, the other major difference will be that the USP has proprietary rail system. So you can see it is not a 1913 rail, whereas this is a 1913 Picatinny rail. So finish isn't super on this frame. It's kind of disappointing. Um, but it's going to be interesting when we go to weigh these because this feels lighter. So it's, that'll be interesting for sure. But again, this is 9mm, and if you have seen videos on how they make the USP-40, the USP was built for 40 caliber, and on the 9mm USP, there's quite a bit of material relieved inside the slide top. So that could be why this feels so much heavier than this SAR. Um, magazine release is obviously the European style or the, the paddle style like on the Walters and a couple other HKs. So um, ambidextrous, this is a regular mag U, uh, US style magazine release and it is not reversible and it is single sided. Um, we can look at, there's serrations there and there where this has the aggressive checkering. Um, polymer magazine. And obviously a steel magazine. Um, let's see. These sights are adjustable. And these are night sights. So these are uh, Meprolite True Dots. Um, so there's the difference there. But this was a, a police trade-in, I believe. Um, let's look at internals, I guess. So let's let's get the magazines out. They break down the exact same way. So you just come back to that notch, push the slide stop off, and pull the slide off. Then we'll, we'll look at internals here. So let me break this one down and show that it breaks down the exact same way. So we are just going to come back there, push that out, and show that. So 
Um, we'll start with the slot. Actually, let's start with the takedown levers. So you can see, this is the HK, and it has a different notch. And the SAR has a second protrusion on it. Let's look at that frame and see why. So it goes all the way through there, and then the second bar goes through there, and then the protrusion comes in here to actuate on the magazine. Um, we can weigh that part just for giggles. The USP one is 0.67 ounces, and the SAR is 0.74. So a slight weight difference there. All right, so let's look at the slides. And I think I already see where, where the difference is going to be. So if you look at the SAR is right here. And all of this material here is all milled away. So there's a huge cavity right there. Whereas on this, it's just kind of a little channel. You can see that there. Let me see if I can rotate that in the light. Look at how deep that one is. That one goes almost to the top of the slide, how much they've removed there. But you can see the recoil mechanisms are identical. Nearly identical, I should say. Um, let's weigh the complete slide with the barrel and the recoil spring assembly in it. So the USP is 19.61 ounces. And our SAR is 18.17. So an ounce and a half difference right there. Um, let's take it apart real quick and show you the differences in the barrel. So on the HK barrel, we have a polished feed ramp and polygonal rifling in it. And you can see how nice and shiny that bore is. But the barrel external uh, has been a bleed finish or some kind of nitride. Um, the SAR, which I haven't cleaned since I shot, you can see. Let's let's use a Q-tip here and wipe that down. As you can see, it does have a polished feed ramp as well, and traditional lands and groove rifling on there, which is going to show some dirt from being shot. But you can see it there. This is the HK recoil spring assembly. And you can see the secondary right there. This is the SAR version, which there is a secondary, but it's um, covered. It's internal in that mechanism. I want to weigh this and see the difference here. So the SAR is 2.19 ounces, and the HK is 1.9. So there's, what, two tenths? almost three tenths of an ounce difference right there um, so again we're gonna see some differences but a lot of similarities So there they are. Um, now let's look at the frames. And this is where I think it's going to be interesting to see how nearly identical they are. So um, so here you can see, we're going to start with the ejector, the sear, and the other, this is the disconnect. Um, so what do we have? One, two, three, four components going across. But the difference will be that this has the detent plate. And that is how that determines there's the safety. And then when you go 
and go down, you can see how it spring loaded right there and that's how the decocker functions. So you can see on this, maybe, it says one and two, this is type one and two. If it was three and four, it would be decocker only without the manual safety. Um, tiny little steel sections of rail embedded in the polymer and the trigger bar shape and the hammer shape are clearly visible right here. So let's compare that now. So here we have the same ejector, one, two, three, four components with a disconnector here that is spring loaded. The hammer shape is slightly different with it being uh, a hole machined here and then some uh, machine depressions on both sides of the hammer body. Uh, the trigger bar looks pretty much the exact same. But you'll notice here with this being an alloy frame you have longer rail sections because they're machined parts of the frame. Uh, trigger return spring right down there you can see the long leg going forward and the trigger action. So let's look at that on the USP. Uh, trigger return spring you can see that kind of see that leg going up forward there. This is a polymer trigger that is a steel trigger. Has serrations on the face as does the no, it doesn't. The USP does not. Um, so let's get to the weights on these. This is going to be interesting. This feels extremely light. Polymer grips that are screwed on um, with a standard slot. 11.75 ounces on the SAR frame. And 7.16 ounces on the Polymer HK frame. So this is an extremely, this feels much lighter than uh, uh, my P226 frame without the slide on it. So um, it, do, it feels extremely lightweight. I'm not sure exactly how they accomplish that because it, it looks extremely robust. So it is kind of a nice um, welcome surprise at, at how light it weighs. And you can see that it is milled away inside so that you can see the, uh, let's see if I can get that. You can see the hammer spring assembly. Jeez, I can't get any. Anyhow, take my word for it. And then the same thing on the polymer, you can see, clearly see the hammer spring right there. So, um, magazine weights will be probably significantly different. So, we have the steel magazine weighing in at 3.21 ounces and this all polymer at 1.87. So, there's over an ounce difference right there. So, um, this shape right here that this grip features is extremely ergonomic and it feels very similar to the Walther P99 and PPQ shape um, where it has that little bit of a pronounced hump that, that just fits the hand extremely well. The USP has a nice shape as well but it doesn't have as pronounced of a hump so if we stack them up, I don't know if I'll be able to do this but you can see that there is a little bit of material right here that is um, on a different angle I guess I could say than the grip on the USP. Um, there is some jimping or texturing on the front of the trigger guard. Um, the SAR features a little bit more and it's narrower the USP trigger guard is wider and much wider down here where the magazine release is. So you can, this is a 2006 model by the way. But I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the frames have always been the same except for some extra plastic and stuff up here on some of the older USPs and some of the roll marks are different. But um, you can see it's, it's basically um, an almost identical clone and
I've showed this in the other video, but this is the the exploded parts view of the SAR. And when you look at these parts here, they're they're nearly identical to the the HK. So and then you can see um that there is in fact a recoil reduction mechanism just like the HK on the recoil rod assembly. So there you go. Uh, we're at 15 and a half minutes now, so I think I pretty much gave you guys the, the, the info on what you need to know on the differences between the, the SAR ST10, which is a HK clone, we'll call it, and then an actual HK USP. So thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Always shoot safe.